G'day there, how's it going? I'm putting up a question today, and um, this might be a bit of a long-winded video <laughs> question, so please bear with me. Um, I do tend to ramble on a bit on, on these videos, so I'll try not to. Anyway, so as we know right now, um, the coronavirus is uh, taking hold worldwide. Everyone's getting it, we're all gonna die, blah, 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 whatever. Whatever you choose to believe, whatever you're reading, that sort of stuff. And of course, there's a massive toilet roll um, uh, thing going on at the moment where everyone needs toilet rolls. I'm not sure why, but we all do. And I've got mine, and I hope you've got yours. But that's not what this is about. This is about coronavirus. Um, I've noticed over this week especially that there seems to be quite a number of bands cancelling overseas tours. Um, tours through Europe, Japan, um, and everywhere it seems to be. And it's not just metal bands and rock bands, it's all genres of bands. Um, I'm quite up with the K-pop industry <laughs> um, because my daughter is uh, very heavily into K-pop and she keeps me up to date on what's going on with a lot of the K-pop bands and they're cancelling too. So I've been thinking about this and um, you know obviously we all want the coronavirus to disappear and everything to go back to normal and um, we all hope that that's what happens and maybe that's what will happen soon, maybe not. Um, if you read, depending on what you read and who you want to believe, um, it is looking like the coronavirus is going to be with us for quite some time. Which means that, and it's already started, a lot of bands are starting to cancel tours. So a lot of bands, or most bands make their income through touring. So, you know, they they sell tickets, they sell merchandise, all that sort of stuff when they're on, uh, on tour. And usually when a band goes through a city or through a country, the sales of their, of their albums tend to spike in, in those areas. So if bands can't tour, this creates a problem, right? Um, it creates a problem, obviously, for the bands uh, income-wise, but it also creates a problem for fans who want to see bands that can't. And that could go through and affect, you know, the local scene in, in each city, in each country. If bands can't tour, then the fans can't see them. So, one of the things that, that I was thinking about, and I know that this does go on on the internet, but I'm not, uh, I'm not overly, um, you know, up with it. But I know that there are bands and there are musicians that do do internet streaming gigs that people pay for to watch. So it's like a pay-per-view thing. Um, you know, you might pay five bucks, 10 bucks or whatever. So I was thinking about this and I've got a few questions. The first question I've got is relates to, to punters, obviously, to fans, which is you people, mostly. If, let's say, corona, coronavirus takes hold all over the world and no one can sort of go out there's no mass gatherings of people you know for a certain time period and we're all pretty much stuck at home bands can't tour so if a band was to do internet um, live streaming gigs would you adapt to that would you be interested in something like that and how much would you pay for something like that? Um, I'm very interested to know whether fans out there, um, fans of music in general and stuff like that, would would you, if if it comes to this, where where bands can't tour and local bands maybe can't play, no matter where you are, Melbourne, Sydney, wherever, overseas, America, you know, through Europe, whatever. Would you pay for something like that to watch? Now, obviously, it's not going to be the same thing. The best thing in the world is to go and see a live band, whether it's in a small pub or whether it's in a massive stadium. 
you know, you're seeing the band you love, you're there, the vibe's there, you know, you're there with friends, you're all having a good time. I don't know why I've got paint all over my hands, I haven't been painting, but anyway. Um, so that's obviously the best way, and we hope that that continues, but it may not, and it, for a certain period of time. And if it doesn't, then how does the music industry adapt? Because you can't just have bands not playing anywhere. I mean, that's no good for anyone, you know. Um, so I'm thinking about these, inter these, these internet streaming type gigs, pay-per-view. So first question, as a punter, would you pay for something like that? What do you think is an acceptable amount to pay for something like that? Um, and musicians that see this, um, do you think that that is a viable thing that, that we could, a track that we could possibly go down? Would you, would your band do it? Would, you know, would you be interested in doing things like that? And the third point is sound and, uh, and, uh, video people. So, um, what do you, what do you call those types of people? <laughs> sound, sound and video people, um, sound guys, lighting people, um, all that sort of stuff. My question to you is what gear do you need to be able to do this properly? And how would you set it up? Um, how, how, basically, how would you make it happen so that it comes out as great video quality with you know multiple camera angles and stuff like that? And obviously, the number one thing, great sound quality. So you could watch it through your big screen TV, you know, if you've got one running it through your stereo, all that sort of stuff. Um, how do you do it? What's, what sort of gear do you need and how do you set it up? Um, I think it's a topic that, although I'm sure no one wants it to go down that path, it may well happen. You know, we've got to be realistic about this. Hopefully coronavirus disappears tomorrow, that'd be great. But if it doesn't, if it takes hold for the next couple of years, let's say, how does the music industry adapt to that? And how do people get to see their bands, you know, doing tours um, or doing shows, you know? Do they do it in a rehearsal room and just have, you know, cameras and running everything out through the mixing desk to, you know, to get your sound right? Do they do it in a garage? Do they do it in a local venue um, where, you know, you could have people coming in and doing it that way? Like I said, I know this goes on, but I'm not completely up to date with it. And I, and I think, you know, if coronavirus is going to take hold, like we're led to believe it may well, then this is something that we need to talk about and bands need to come up with ideas on how are they going to reach their fans um, and try to get themselves, move themselves forward, you know, around the world to try to gain more fans and, and all that sort of thing. So I'm really interested in people's opinions on this. Um, if you know sound, any sound engineers and lighting techs and stuff like that, I'd love for them to get involved to, to talk about how it is that you go about doing it. Um, I'd love to hear from other bands, other musicians. Is it a good idea? Do, is it something that you think you could do with your band? Is it something you're interested in doing? And I want to hear from punters and fans of bands of how much you would pay for a start. Well, for a start, would you be interested in, in watching your favourite bands doing this sort of stuff? And if so, how much is an acceptable amount to pay for that sort of stuff? Or should it just be free? I don't know. I don't know. What do people think? I think it's something that we need to talk about because uh, it may well happen. Hopefully it doesn't, but um, it might. So that's it. I hope everyone understands what I'm talking about here. Uh, if not, well, sorry, I tried. And I uh, hope you've all got your toilet rolls. Um, and remember, don't use baby wipes uh, and flush them down the toilet because they don't flush properly and then they clog up the sewers and then God knows what's gonna happen. You have shit all over the joint. And that would not be good for anybody. So. Um, Best of luck and hope everyone's well and having a great week and uh, no, I'm not talking about Melodic Rock Fest because there's no point because it's a joke. Have a good weekend. See you later. <coughs>